Israeli officials say they are keeping a close eye on the border with Lebanon following new threats by Hezbollah's leader. Trey Yingst has the latest. Nearly three months into the war, Israel's military is ramping up operations in central and southern Gaza. Israeli officials say over the past day, the IDF struck Hamas anti-tank squads and a weapon depot in the area. Troops have been focusing their efforts on the southern city of Han Yunus, battling above and below ground in an effort to eliminate the Hamas tunnel network from the city. It is an operation that takes time because of the security of our forces. We will do it thoroughly until we reach all the places we need to go. As the ground operations move south, the UN says agencies have not been able to deliver humanitarian aid to parts of northern Gaza for at least three days. Officials say that includes medicine and food adding the disruption is due in part to access delays and ongoing fighting. I wouldn't say that it has become easier or that the situation has improved. I think our obstacles um, remain day to day. And on the northern front, Israel continues to keep an eye on its border with Lebanon, days after a drone strike killed the deputy chairman of Hamas in Beirut. In a speech Wednesday, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah promised revenge. I think he will continue to be measured and not escalate to the scale that he certainly has the capability to do, which certainly would uh, be a significant challenge for the Israelis. Nasrallah also warns that if Israel attacks Lebanon, Hezbollah will fight back. Along the Israel-Gaza border, Trey Angst, Fox News.